there are quite a lot of movies and series out there. One way or the other, we fall in love with a particular character, and they become our favorites. One such character is a star from the HBO series Euphoria, Sydney Sweeney. In this video, we will find answers to questions like, how hard is it for Sydney Sweeney to make girlfriends? What was Sweeney's thoughts on the incarnation of Barbarella? Let us find out. First up, who is Sydney Sweeney? Sydney Bernice Sweeney is an American actress born on September 12, 1997. Her interest in acting sprung up after her audition to be an extra for an independent movie that would be shot in the Spokane area. She had to convince her parents about her decision to start acting with a five-year business plan. She began her acting journey by booking commercial acting jobs and auditioning in Seattle and Portland, Oregon. She started her acting acting career in 2009, but it took a big boost when she appeared in 2018 television series like Everything Sucks, The Handmaiden's Tale, and Sharp Objects. Now we know a little about our shining Euphoria star, let's move to the main topic of discussion. Next, I always have a hard time having girlfriends. The statement, I always have a hard time having girlfriends, was spoken by Sydney Sweeney as a reflection on how life has treated her and how far she has gone. Our 25-year-old Euphoria star is the youngest person to be honored on Elle's 2022 Women in Hollywood list. When called upon on the Monday night event, to make her acceptance speech, she spoke sincerely about how life has treated her and what she learned from life. She, in the same vein, recognized the presence of the female friends she's gained along the way. She told her Euphoria co-star, Maude Apatel, that she, Maude, was the sister she wanted. She even went ahead to tell Maude that she was lucky. After all, she, Sydney, played sister with her in the series Euphoria because she, Maude, is her best friend in every thing to her based on the fact that she finds it hard to make female friends. The star went on to share the letter she wrote to herself when she was younger because the letter contained some of the most significant takeaways she had with life. In the letter, she thanked herself for not giving up, for not accepting the answer no from people, and for not letting others discourage her from dreaming and believing in herself. She listed the three lessons she learned from life, which goes thus, never forget the importance of kindness and forgiveness to yourself and others because it is not everyone that knows where you're going or where you're coming from. Live in the now and fall in love with as many things as possible by constantly looking for new opportunities to uncover. She advised herself by saying, don't limit the bandwidth of love, but share it regularly because the world needs your love. The speech and advice were then concluded by Sydney saying she was a work in progress, just like everyone else. She also told people who cared to know that she was because she had in high school, which was prompted by her role as Cassie in the movie Euphoria. She admitted that the singular experience became her driving force. She made it her template of showing the world that she could be successful alongside making her mark in the industry because of her God-given talent and not her body. She said that she did not allow herself to quit and let the negativity and criticism of people stop her from making it in life because she was genuinely determined to keep working as hard as possible to achieve achieve her dreams. Thank you for sticking around till now. Let's move on to the next important topic of this video so that you have an insight into how Sydney sees life. Follow me. And now, unknown facts about Sydney Sweeney. Our shining star is a multi-talented person with many things to her credit. Sydney Sweeney is very passionate about cars. She is her mechanic. She has a TikTok page at Sid's Garage to support the statement. She has also told the press about her opinion on her decision not to date anyone in the entertainment industry. Did you know that Sydney broke her toe while filming Euphoria? She was stepped on during the filming by Alexa Demi, who busted her toe. Sydney Sweeney is so sweet that she writes a book for every character she plays. Our shining star is also an athletic person who goes skiing, golfing, rock climbing, and water skiing in her free time. Also, if Sweeney was to advise anyone, the only advice she would give is be more confident in yourself. 
well. Our Euphoria star is trained as a mixed martial artist. Another exciting aspect of Sydney Sweeney is that she studied business to help herself know what every movie or TV contract means before signing them. She has also shared shots of her being an international jet setter. You probably didn't realize that she has a production company where the actor is focused mainly on getting projects that are off the cutting room floor and have strong female leads. The production company is named 5050 Films. Because of Sydney's love for cars, she is in the process of fixing her vehicle without the help of anyone. Hosh has a Ford Bronco that she is working on all by herself. Sydney admitted to the press that she sometimes struggles with herself and her casting as Cassie in Euphoria. She gave because Cassie in the movie Euphoria had not figured anything out. In contrast, she, as Sydney in real life, has everything figured out. At least she thinks she does because she has caught herself slipping into the role of Cassie countless times. Overthinking and rethinking anything and everything, which is a sign that she does not have a grasp on anything then. Now you know more interesting facts about your favorite actor, Sydney Sweeney, that can be used as a point of reference to your friends and family as the one who knows her the most. Let's find out more about her opinion on things going on in the entertainment industry. Next in related news, Sydney makes a long-awaited comment on Barbarella reboot. There has been a lot of silence by Sydney Sweeney on the issue of Barbarella's incarnation. Thus, the rumor of Sony Pictures bringing back Barbarella is very current because they already made plans on how to put a new transformation to the cult classic comic series of Jean-Claude by bringing Barbarella back to the big screen. Sydney Sweeney will be the executive producer and a member of the cast in the film. The movie, however, is the second time Barbarella is incorporated into a film. The original film was a 1968 movie that Jane Fonda directed. Sydney Sweeney pointed out that Barbarella is a fun and iconic character and would thus like to keep the fun alive through the role of Barbarella. Sydney Sweeney made the statement in an interview with E.T. Do you have anything to say about Sydney Sweeney starring in Barbarella? Drop your thoughts and observations in the comment section. Now we know what Sydney Sweeney has to say concerning Barbarella's incarnation, come with me to learn more about the character and movie Barbarella. And now, what is Barbarella? Barbarella is a creation of Forrest and was serialized in 1962 by V Magazine. It was collected years later in a standalone book. The comic contained the adventures of Barbarella, whose character was that of a spacefaring astronaut who went on adventures throughout the galaxy. The book, however, was considered a revolutionary step that represented the revolution of the era, and it was also said to be one of the first erotic comics to ever be on the market. This comic has since then become the stepping stone and template for other comics published by Dynamite recently. Mike Carey stated that John claudes Forrest creation, Barbarella, in the 1960s was a character that helped define her era. He elaborated that she was the first liberated heroine for a decade to question all moral codes and rules. Now, let's find out if there ever was a Barbarella sequel. Lastly, was there a Barbarella sequel? The answer to the question above is a big no. Several attempts have been made at continuing the comic and bringing back Barbarella to the on-screen after its 1968 release. If the sequel had gone as planned, it would have been titled Barbarella Goes Down, which is quite a title if you ask me. Years later, in the 2000s, Thousands, plans were made to bring back the franchise called Barbarella with a new movie. The new movie would have been Robert Rodriguez and later Robert Ludick. It would have also starred Rose McGowan. However, the budget and filming limitations did not do justice to the movie production. Thus, the project manifestation did not pull through. The death of the project brought about a musical modification that was produced in 2004. 2012 saw how Amazon Studios and Galma International Television aspired to create a Barbarella television sequel. If this idea had also pulled through, it would have been set in Asia with the Neon Demons Nicholas Winding Rain as the director. We look forward to seeing more of Sydney Sweeney on our screens. Thank you for watching this video till the end. You are significantly appreciated. Do you have any questions or thoughts about Sydney Sweeney? Please leave your thoughts and questions for us in the comment section. We hope to see you in our next video. Yeah.